What is up guys, welcome back to the channel Guys, we here on Reddit uh, Checking out so non-Americans What was a culture shock for you When you visited the US For the first time now uh, I know I usually do the videos Where you know They have like a robot voice and all that stuff But your boy know how to work Reddit at least a little to know what to search up So we finna check this out Y'all hit that subscribe button, send down those recommendations. And I'm finna see, um, if you if you're non-American and you visited the US for the first time, uh, let me know where you went. And I know it's been a minute, probably since last was it probably since last year and probably summertime of last year that I did one of these. So hey, if you've been somewhere, if you've been somewhere in the US since then, let me know. But uh yeah, let me know where you went, cause you know everywhere in the U.S. is different. It's very different. I'm in Texas. I love Texas. You know, uh, Florida. I love Florida. Those are like the two main states that I've been to. Or <laughs> I can't say I live in Texas, but Florida is the other state that you know I've been to quite a bit, and I like it there. I went to New York a couple of times. I wasn't feeling New York. It was too crowded. A lot going on, but we finna check some of these comments out. Let's see. So, Lydia Gear said, I was surprised to see how much bigger the portion sizes were in the U.S. compared to my home country. I guess it's a true way. It's true what they say. Everything is bigger in America. No, everything is bigger in Texas. But everything, like, yeah, the portion sizes are crazy. Um, I wonder what is your home country because, I don't know. I'll be, like, the videos that I see on YouTube are definitely different. For when I see videos or somebody Instagram posts, because uh, I follow a lot of people that are not American, you know, from other around the world, whether it's Australia, somewhere in Europe, Africa. I ain't gonna lie, the way they be eating, the portion sizes look the same. Like, I don't know, you know, maybe a certain places that you can go, maybe the tourist sites and stuff. But this person said, I guess it's true what they say. Everything is bigger in America. America is a huge continent, but everything... Being bigger here, no, not even most, some things, yes, everything, no. But food, you can get a good amount of food, though, I ain't gonna lie, for a good price. That's the crazy thing, like, they rather feed us a lot of bad stuff for cheap, but, you know, you try to eat healthy, it's expensive, it's expensive out here. I disagree, almost everything I've seen in the U.S. compared to Europe is bigger. Compared to Europe, I would say, that's Europe, talking the whole world. Food portions, I really depend on food. Yeah, that's, yeah, depending on all that. But let's see if somebody else has, oh, there we go. The huge amounts Americans eat and people's rudeness. For example, here in Australia, when taking the train, you stand aside and wait for those waiting to exit the train to do so before boarding the train. When I was in New York, and he said the key thing, New York, New York is super crowded. 2018, everyone just seemed to try to rush on, off. That's exactly how it is. I don't even have to finish it because that's exactly how it is. And nobody seated them. Seated seem to stand to let an elderly person sit. That's how it is in New York. I ain't gonna lie. If, especially if it's a crowded substation. And I've noticed that because my brother, like I said, he lived there uh, playing football, went to college there. So he already knew, like, hey, y'all better hurry up and get on because these things fill up fast. And they did in new york those things filled up fast so i see the rush and it's a lot like you gotta be quick enough to get to a seat and sometimes you not and like i said not letting an elderly person sit that's messed up you know what i'm saying can't do that new yorkers aren't aren't rude so much as they don't have time to be nice or answer the billion tourists asking which way it's time that's true that's that's why i said new york new york is a fast fast city like it's it's fast everything is fast in new york and that's why i didn't like because i was like you know it, it was too it was it was everything was a rush you got to get here get there get and you were just rushing even if you was on time it seemed like you were rushing when we went to new york in 2009 we came across so many friendly people and blonde woman drove us around and had lunch with us too through although new york city is one small part of the yeah that's nice that's nice you know what i'm saying but yeah American, yes, people here are so rude all across the country. In fact, I've never met ruder people in my life, and I met people all from all across the world. Though New York is pretty crowded and half populated, twenty minutes, so being in a big city like that likely leads to difficulty with public transportation, which is true. But 
Like I said, it's like it's rude people everywhere. It's rude people everywhere. No denying that. What can you do about it? What <laughs> in the U.S. as an American was well, never discussed any not keen or other than the rudeness. Definitely met ruder people in my life. Dang. So, but yeah, like I said, rudeness is everywhere. Rudeness is everywhere. It is something you can do about it, though. It is. It's plenty. But that's just how some people are in the States. Like, I mean, I can say that, too. It's people that be rude to me on here. You know, I can call them. uh, It can be those people that just, you know, try to say random things, the fake profile and all those stuff type of people. But other than that, I've seen some faces on some of them rude comments. But... But they have some good stuff. Even have Americans who moved to another country. American experience. Americans, what did you find? Okay. So Americans who visited Europe for the first time. How much everyone walked everywhere? <laughs> okay, yeah, I gotta see. Let me put this back. How much everyone walked everywhere compared to the US? No wonder why they make fun of us for being fat. <laughs> Though to be more fair to the U.S. public transportation is a prominent everywhere compared to many Europeans. And that's true. I, I, I tell y'all all the time, like, where I'm at, it's no bus transportation. If there's a bus transportation, it's mainly for, like, the elderly to get to, like, appointments and stuff. But other than that, the only some buses that are running are the school buses for the kids. So, I live in the second biggest city of my country, Hungary. Hungary! Which has a population of around 300,000. I only use my car if I have to. If I don't cargo, I just walk. I hate public transit, but I also hate that it's hard to find parking spots. And I have to pay everywhere. Dang. You have to pay a dollar for parking per hour? That would be crazy. That's the that's the only downfall of when it comes to driving here. When you're in those big cities... You have to pay for parking when you're in the major city like Dallas, downtown Dallas, downtown Houston and all these places, downtown San Antonio here in Texas. You're going to have to pay for parking, like especially if you're trying to walk around downtown, which you can't. You got to pay for parking like it's crazy. But other than that, man, uh, how difficult it is to pay bills at the end of a meal? Oh, I know it's a long experience when they come to uh, Europe. You know, you're sitting there for two or three hours, so. What does that would a German do if he has to eat quickly before boarding a train or an important schedule event? Have to avoid sitting down in restaurants. Now nah, these are some good questions. I gotta come back to these. First time I went to London, I was shocked at how American it felt, unlike other European cities. Obviously, that's interesting. That interesting, but yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna come back to some of these because they there's some good topics. I'm gonna see. I'm still trying to figure out Reddit. I got it. I mean, I was able to find this by typing in the question, but I'm still trying to figure that out. But other than that, guy, that's all I have. Like I said, let me know your experience. You know, if you're a non-American that lived or moved, moved here, visited here, what what city, what state did you visit? What city? Uh, how was the experience? You know, but other than that, that's all I have. Y'all be blessed, be the best and be you. I'm out.